Hey Aries, welcome to your bonus read with Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a love reading to see what's going on between you and the person that you're connecting with, the person in your energy. This is a collective. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid, never force a reading. Okay, if this is for you, you'll know. Cross watchers, you are welcome. And the roles may be reversed, flip them as needed. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate all your support of this new YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome as well. Perhaps you were led here by spirit because there's a message here for you. So please pay close attention. Although I'm new to the YouTube tarot community, I am not new to tarot reading. I have over a decade of tarot reading experience. Please subscribe if the reading resonates so you'll know in the near future when I will be offering extended readings as well as personal. Okay? So, guys, let's just jump right into this. Spirits, what messages do you have for Aries? Show me Aries. That card. These cards want to come out, so let's start with that. Aries, current energy, please. And please show me Aries person's current energy. Okay, um, I have four of the swords reversed for your current energy, Aries. And for your person, I have the nine of swords reversed. Very well, let's get this started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your cards. I'm going to pull your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire reading as I will also be pulling oracle messages and advice cards. You're going through a lot. I can see that already, um, Aries. A lot of challenges, a lot of back and forth, a lot of ups and downs. Your current energy is just healing. I get you healing from something from the past with this four of swords reverse some sort of recovery for some sort of collapse. I'm getting tower energy in the past. And you're just trying to find your mental strength and heal from this. You're in recovery mode, and that's a good thing, okay? Because once you hit the bottom, you can only go up, right? Your person's current energy is the nine of swords reverse. They too are recovering from something. They are letting go of any stress and any negativity they're just, you know, overcoming their past and facing life. Okay. What I see in the past, I got the tower, just as I suspected, and the three of wands reverse. There was definitely a tower moment that happened between you and your person that I'm getting. I get that it was very sudden. It was a breakdown. I also get someone abandoning the connection. I'm getting ghost and energy with the tower as well. Okay. And I'm also getting the three of wands reverse. Somebody in this connection is holding on to the past because of self-doubt. This self-doubt is causing them to feel contained, some sort of restriction, and it's lacking progress and growth. Um, someone is also like perhaps expecting something, but it's being delayed. Okay. But I do get energy of holding on to the past as well. So there's something that you're not really over. Why is the tower moment here, spirit? Please show me two cards, please. Okay. There's a lot that was going on with you in the past that caused this tower moment. I'm getting a lot of energy from this five of pentacles that there was definitely some sort of breakup and someone felt abandoned in this connection or abandoned someone in this connection. Somebody felt neglected. I get that there was money problems that contributed to 
this neglectful energy coming with this five of pentacles energy with this four of pentacles reverse i'm also seeing someone in this connection decided to let go so i feel like there was definitely a breakup okay and between you and your person someone was like you know it's time for me to let go and make myself emotionally available And again, I feel like someone abandoned this connection because of financial issues. But they're holding on to the past. I'm getting someone doubting their decision to abandon this connection with this three of wands reverse. You know, just doubting and thinking, you know, maybe I didn't make the right decision. Okay, so in the current position, I got the fool and the king of cups. I see a new beginning here. There's King of Cups energy. Before I move um, forward in this read, there's a lot of pentacles. So you could be connected with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? Um, if it resonates with you, then it could be any sign. But I'm definitely getting a lot of Earth energy. In this current position, I feel like there's someone that's very compassionate with this King of Cups, very charming. Um, I feel like there's some sort of offer with this King of Cups energy of somebody who wants to show up for this connection and who showed up for this connection. For some of you, this is already happening right now where... There's an offer um, with someone who's very mature and, you know, a faithful, loyal, balanced, emotionally balanced partner, very compassionate. And then there's a new beginning here. Why is this fool here in this King of Cups? Please clarify. Yep, new beginning, Ace of Wands and Page of Wands reverse. Okay, there's a new beginning here with someone new, okay? With this Ace of Wands. This is a new person. This is a new... This is someone with the King of Cups energy. This is like a really balanced partner. So what I see with this breakup, I see you moving on to this someone with this love offer of this King of Cups, giving this offer. Again... Aries, if this hasn't happened yet, it's in the current position, so it could happen any day now. Like, this is coming in, okay? And um, I do see, however, with the Page of Wands energy, I'm still getting the energy of someone who's closed-minded. This is the person that goes to this connection. Someone who's, f you know, fearful. It's like they're in the background and they want to come forward to you, Aries, but they're afraid to act. Okay? And again, take this as needed. The roles can be reversed in this reading. But there's like this person that wants to come forward, but they're not because they're afraid of getting rejected from you. I'm getting that this is a person from the past. But there is someone here. There's a new offer with this King of Cups and this Ace of Wands. So there's a new beginning here for you. But again, this person, there is someone from the past who wants to come back around. With this page of wands reverse, please clarify, spirits. This person, you know, wants to come back around and they're trying to manifest you with this magician, okay? They feel that you are their soulmate and they're trying to manifest you back into their life. So that's interesting because I see two, two two options for you. But the only issue with that is this person is afraid to come forward. But in the near future, I've got the Five of Wands and the King of Swords. So again, I'm getting the energy. I get this person coming forward in the future. 
person's gonna come. As afraid as they are, they're still gonna come forward with this king of swords. But they're coming forward with this head over heart energy, okay? So they're thinking logically. And I still get them like the kind of aloof energy and still being attached, but coming forward anyway. And what that what happens with that is, that energy is gonna cause a conflict with this five of wands in the future, okay? I see conflicts, um, petty arguments. And the issue, and the reason why that's happened is because this person from the past is trying to manifest you and they feel that you're your soulmate, but they don't know how to follow through with that. So instead you're getting someone who's, who's coming to you still emotionally closed off and it's causing conflict between you guys. It's just like you want this person well, you don't want this person, but if you're willing to be receptive to this person, you're expecting them to be emotional, but they're being rational and it irritates you. <laughs> so your challenge is at the bottom of the deck, Aries, is the Empress reverse and the Two of Wands reverse, okay? Wow, so I'm getting that you're the person. <laughs> Wow. You have your own insecurities. And there's this lack of confidence that's coming from you and not your person. So I feel the energy of you coming towards this person, trying to get your person back. And your person has another love offer. So definitely flip these roles around. Because with this Empress Reverse and this Two of Wands Reverse, I'm absolutely getting this as your challenges. This is not you and the King of Cups energy. This is not an offer from you. This is an offer from your person. So I see a new beginning from your person in the current position. It's coming in. You're trying to manifest this person, okay? You're the one trying to manifest this person for yourself but you're failing to act. You're not moving forward towards this person. So, and you're the one who goes to this connection. And I ha I'm sorry to have to say that. I gotta call it as I see it, Aries. You're the one who goes to this connection based on some financial hardships and just, you know, feeling really insecure and neglecting the connection. Your partner is the one that's open-minded and emotionally available, but you're closed off and you guys had that tower moment. Yet you are holding on to the past because you, you you have doubts. Like you, you know that your person was a missed opportunity. However, your person has a new person coming in with this fool and this king of cups, a very mature, charming person, a very loyal, I'm getting a very masculine energy offering them a new beginning with this ace of wands and yet again you miss this person and you want this person but you're not acting on it because you're afraid they're going to reject you you're trying to manifest them because you feel this person is your soulmate meanwhile you're detached you're in king of sports energy in the near future so if you move forward to your person with that same <laughs> detached energy, it's only gonna cause this five of wands conflict with your person, okay? So therefore your challenges is the Empress reverse and the two of wands reverse. And I just get this lack of self-confidence that you have and this lack of self-love. So you're trying to, <laughs> to, to come to this person in their future with this energy and your other challenge is the two of wands reverse. You're indecisive, you're, you're afraid. You don't know what you should do. You're restricting your options because you don't want to get hurt and you don't want to hurt your person. So you're like, I don't know what I should do. So the, your challenge is making a decision about this connection and building your self-confidence and work on your self-love. To love yourself better, is to want to treat someone else better. But there's an insecurity there because of your lack of independence. 
and you don't want to go to your person feeling like you need them. You want to make sure that you're, you, you are secure in every way, emotionally, financially, mentally. And that is the challenge to take care of yourself first. And I can tell you right now, it doesn't look like you're ready. If you try to head over to this person now, before you do the work that you need to do in yourself, and you come in with this aloof energy, it's only going to lead to an argument. Your ego is going to get involved, and it's just going to be really chaotic. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aries, please? Show me three cards. This is an interesting plot twist interesting but you know this is about you coming and you trying to figure things out and me giving you clarity to help you move forward Aries so the advice that I have for you is the knight of pentacles reverse the justice reverse and the eight of wands you could be connecting with a Libra a Scorpio and Aries <laughs> But again, if this is resonating, then this is for you. So the advice that I have for you, what I'm getting again is this unstable, unreliable energy coming from you. Whereas it's like there's broken promises. Like you want to come in really quickly and promise this person a lot of stuff. And if when you're faced with conflict, as a consequence to your actions with this justice reverse i get you not being accountable for your behavior like if your person calls you out one well, well this is how you handle this and this is how i feel i get you not being receptive to it being deflective so the advice that i have to you is there's a decision that def definitely needs to be made because this king of cups is coming in for your person this is a solid offer with this Ace of Wands and this King of Cups and this Fool. This is a, a new passion. This is the this is their partner. This is their the type of partner that they want. This is what they wanted from you, Aries. A very compassionate, mature, balanced, charming, kind, loyal masculine energy and please understand the cards are not gender based everyone has masculine and feminine energies so take it as it resonates but i get a lot of masculine energy coming in with this ace of wands this is clearly a new person and a new beginning and this is in the current position so the advice that i have for you is the eight of wands you need to take action however you also need to understand that if you're going to go towards this person you cannot go and with the energy of lack and accountability and you have to be able to offer this person something stable because right now i don't see you doing that with this king of pentacles reverse this person is not taking anything from you less than that they're not you know again they got this king of cups energy from someone so you need to work on that work on those things you know work on um being receptive to whatever they say to you and because balance has to be brought back in this connection with this justice reverse. It cannot be if there's no accountability. So, you know, just just be receptive. Work on, you know, owning up to the fact that saying, you know, I, I definitely didn't put into the connection as I should have. I came in, you know, we've been, we were together. There were a lot of broken promises. It was unstable. It was, I was, you know, it wasn't a, a stable connection. I was not somebody that you can count on you gotta come in with accountability but you're gonna have to come in fast and sincere because time is not on your side because of this person but if you come in with leading with you know logic instead of your emotions it's going to be negative with this five of wands so it's going to cause conflict okay so I, I need to tell you that because i know that this person is in your mind because in the past I have the three of wands reversed. You hold on to the past. There's a lack of coming together with this person in the in the past. That's why you got this tower moment. And you know, but I feel like there's a lot of love here. If you if you're willing to allow yourself to be transparent and just to be mature 
about your approach with this relationship because you love this person and you do want to you're trying to manifest this person i can see with the magician and the will of fortune and yes this is um your soulmate however they're getting another offer from someone else so you're gonna have to step your shit up aries so um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pull some romance angel cards before i close out this read Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for this golden tree? This is really interesting, guys. Like, this really took a turn. And I felt it all through me, all through my body, that the situation was reversed. And it's you, in fact, that caused this downfall in this beautiful connection. You didn't feel like you were enough and that you didn't have your shit together enough for this person. But this person person has a lot of love for you had a lot of spirit please show me um aries person's intentions towards them what's their intentions currently please wow i got the seven of cups i've got the nine of pentacles reverse and the queen of swords reverse this person right now they don't feel that the connection's stable. They feel like it's just a very unstable, unreliable connection with this Nine of Pentacles reverse. They feel like there's pure communication. And they feel like you hold back. They get the emotional blockages of you lacking empathy with this Queen of Swords reverse. With the Seven of Cups, they just feel like, you know, they don't feel like you're, you're committed to them. They feel like you have a lot of going, a lot of shit going on. You have a lot of options. You know, you, you're not, you're, you're all scattered. Your energy is scattered and there's a need for you to make a decision that you're not making. And they, they feel that way. And they're like, they don't want to be involved with that because they feel like it's all over the place. It's not um, decisive. They feel like just being with you is like, there's no direction in this relationship. We're just um, together, you know, we're not progressing. They feel that you're not progressing because you're not sure what you, what you want with this Seven of Cups, okay? So this is your feelings, unfortunately, for you. That's why they're, um, they're letting you go. With this Nine of Swords reverse, they're just trying to recover from the negativity and the stress of that connection. Okay, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It just means that they felt you gave up and they had to give up. Okay, and they're moving on. And now they have this King of Cups coming in. So let's pull again. Let's go into these Romance Angel cards before we close this out. So show me the messages that you have for Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. You have to decide what you want. Because it's like you're manifesting, trying to manifest this person. But you're not you know, what's your intentions? You're not doing much. You're, you're attempting to manifest somebody without doing something. This page of wands reverse, you're not making it happen. You're just like failing to act on this. Your fear is blocking this manifestation. Wow. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay, so for some of you, this is somebody that you're separated from, maybe literally separated from this person because of all the problems in the in the marriage. And you're trying to decide, do you want to continue with the marriage or do you want to go through with a divorce? And your person's like, I think it's time for a divorce. And that's why they're in this Nine of Swords reverse energy. And there's somebody there for them. There's a King of Cups waiting for them. Okay? This is a very direct message. It's not going to resonate with everyone. But spirit wanted me to say it. Yep, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is for some of you, you're married to this person. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I just said that not even five minutes ago. 
that you have to state your intentions and decide what you really want. You can't expect something to manifest. You don't even know what you want. You're in decisive energy, but you're like, I want this person to come to me. That's what I get, really. You want this person to come to you instead of you making a move. That's why I got this page of wands reverse. It's like you want them, but you want them to come to you. And that's not happening because they have a king of cups coming to them. Spirit's asking me to pull two more cards. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And I've already said that because you two are definitely going to be in this, you know, reconnecting in the near future. But the warning for that is you walking into this with your head over heart instead of being transparent emotionally. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I was just talking about transparency. Transparency. Be passionate. Be vulnerable. Be emotional. If you come with anything less than that, then this is not going to work. And not just that. You have to come with accountability because you're up against a king of cups. Two more cards, please. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You have to make the effort. You can't manifest this person to come back to you because that is not happening. So you you have to, you, have, you should have been given Page of Wands energy instead of Page of Wands reverse. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Spirit wants you guys to work on this. This is crazy because usually when I get an option for a new love, it's usually like in a reading, it's like this situation is bad. Go to the towards this new person. The universe wants you to be with this new person. In this situation, you're being urged to work on this connection, Aries. Spirit saying there's an opportunity for you to reconciliate with this person. And this could be the person that you're supposed to be with the rest of the life. For those of you who are not married, this can very well be a marriage. That leads. This can be a marriage. This is what you want. You want a life partner. And I'm sorry, the reflectors on this stupid cards are ridiculous. But see, decide what you want very soon. Reconciliate. Spirit wants you guys to work this out. So don't miss your opportunity. You have to strike while the iron's hot. However, Aries, you cannot come in with no bullshit. So make sure that you understand that you need to be vulnerable. You need to be accountable. And you need to be emotional. And you need to be honest and loving. And you have to be willing to offer this person someone that they can count on. Okay? Try to avoid this five of wands energy in the near future. The future is based on the current. If you change something you're doing now, you can change the outcome in most situations. So those are the messages. Now you know what you need to do, okay? <clears throat> I'm sorry. So those are the messages that I have for you, Aries. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. If this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comments or liking or sharing or subscribing, anything. Let me know. I, I appreciate you guys. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.